here. It has this white label on it. And here's a sleeve with this newsletter from the Methodist Church. And we're going to start here with the Pig Solitaire game. And it has 100 spaces, so I call it Peg 100. And one of them right here has been removed. So it starts with 99 yellow tiles. And I'm going to um, remove uh, one at a time by jumping one over another. According to the rules of Peg Solitaire, so I'm going to jump this yellow one over that yellow one into that blue space. That's what's shown here. That's the one that used to be over there. And the one in the middle got removed and this one got jumped. Okay, then we go to the next one and we're jumping this one up here to the empty space. So this one's going to be moved, this one's going to be removed, and that one's going to be filled. And that's what we've got here. Okay, then we're jumping this one down here. So these two get removed and that one gets filled. And that's what we have here. Then we're going to jump this one over this one to this central space. So these two get removed and that one gets filled. And here it is here. And then finally we're going to jump this one, one from the center down to the bottom here. And we're going to end up with these two being removed, that one filled. And that's what's going to generate the first cross. So we got a cro the cross pattern. Then uh, to continue it, we jump this one over here. And that's shown over here. And this is, you know, a little bit distorted kind of fish. The tail here and the nose and the body there. And then make another move. Just to jump this one over this one. And that's there. And there's a lot more moves we're going to skip. This is kind of a summary I diagram of these first moves with the cross. So we start with one. We jump this one up there. Jump that one over. Then uh, this one over there. And uh, that one down, and then finally we move it up, out to the side to make the cross, and then the one that looks kind of like a fish, and then continuation. So I made a di summary diagram there, and then we're going to, basically what's going to happen here is I, uh, you're going to want to clear off all of these not leave any stragglers behind and work your way around and then end up over here on this side. Oops. That's where I ran out of blue ink and it printed pink. Um, here's um, where you can see it. You don't want to leave any, any ones behind here. You want to leave them all kind of connected so you can keep on jumping. More progress. And again, you know, these are kind of far away, but not too far. You can jump this one over here and then connect them up there so you can keep on going. And then finally, end up with this summary page of the ending. And so here, We're going to want to uh, jump this one up here and then eventually over that one. And so that's shown here. And then the next is we're going to jump this one down there. And that's shown here. And then again we're going to want to go do the same thing over again. We're going to jump this one over here and then down over that one. So that's shown here. This one goes over there. And it's going to go down there. 
we end up with this figure and then basically what's going to happen here is we're going to get the cross again by jumping these two to make a cross. So we do it here first this way. This one at the bottom is jumped first. And then one at the top and we got the cross. And then it's just the cross and the uh, pegs just uh, gets reversed the way it was at the beginning. We jump this one out and we get this pattern. And then we're going to want to jump this one up here. And that one's missing. And we finally end up with these two at the end. And they jump over. Oh.